Okay, hello everyone. This is what we're going to be making today. It's the uh, Oriental Pearl Tower. Very simple introduction to Maya. Just creating shapes, rotating scale, and uh, just moving them around. Alright, I'm just going to put up the shortcuts that you'll need to be working on. So I can just get them up here. And uh, here you go. Okay, so just write these down. Alright, so just uh, the basic ones, your Q, W, E and R. They're probably your main shortcuts. Q, select, W, move, E, rotate, R and to, to scale. Alright, after that, uh, <coughs> X, snap to, gid, to grid, control, command, D to duplicate. F, zoom and selection, D to edit, pivot, uh, space bar to change views. Okay, so write those down. Now let's go into our Maya file here. All right, so I've already set it up for you. If you just have a look. All right. Now over here in the bottom right, I've just created a reference right layer. So you can see just a little shell that we've got and just work in the one above. All right, first one of all, space bar. We'll just change your view. So, so you get a full full camera view or just a four four shot view here. All right. Now, also you may want to make sure up in the top left hand corner you have your shelf tabs selected. Makes it a little bit quicker and uh, easier. All right. And up here we have polygons selected. All right, so we'll go to our polygon shelf up here, polygons, and let's just make the first bit here. I'm going to press, okay, I've got a cylinder selected. I'm going to press X to snap to grid, and here I go. All right, I'll just, oops, going to just drag it up. All right, I already made a mistake. Q, let's delete it. And let's just start again. X. All right. And I'll just go over to my side to drag it up. All right. Very simple. Using R, scale from the middle. In we go. All right. I'll just go down to this view here. And I'll just, okay, just got to figure out how to work with the, uh, uh, with the, um, all right, just try and just okay. Got to use the mouse button here. All right, let's drag it up, and that should be okay for our first one here. Okay, after that, all right, we'll have a few more here. Let's just do our cylinders here, and let's just drag it up. All right, we'll change the scale again, just make it a little bit smaller. All right, now, Control D, which should be Edit Duplicate. And let's move that over. And Apple D, duplicate it again. All right, now, I should have actually made sure that it's all working. I just have to select them all and let's just say bring them uh, down. Maybe R to scale. Let's just bring it up make it all look quite a little bit nicer. All right, that's quite easy enough there. So you can see a little uh, the basic view already looking okay. Now what we can do now, we'll just make our uh, circles, our spheres, I should say. X to snap to grid, here we go. Let's just drag that up. All right. Just bring it here. I'll just make this scale a little bit bigger. All right, now, edit, duplicate, Apple D, W, drag it up. Uh, a scale from the center. Drag it down. Command D. 
D and there we go. Alright, that's looking alright. So there's the first part of our tower, already looking quite okay. Alright, next step is going to be the these diagonal parts down here. Now uh, there's better ways to do this. We'll learn how to do it just uh, in a different time. But let's just for now click and drag up. All right. Now I'm going to E to rotate, and this is just all going to depend on where my things work. All right, that looks okay. Go up here, E to rotate. Now, I'm just going to press D, that's the pivot, D, and I'm just going to move my pivot point down. All right, so now I'm rotating from the, from the bottom there. Okay, it makes it a little bit easier. And how's that looking? That's all looking all right. All right. All right, yep, there we go. All right, now what I might in fact do is Command D, just gonna rotate this again. All right, maybe change my rotation point to the center here. Alright, and just rotate it around. Okay, oh, it actually works quite nicely there. W, bring it down a bit. Alright, and I'll just duplicate it again. Okay, there we have it. Okay, yeah, quite simple. Let's see how that's all working. In our different views. Yep, that looks good there. Looks okay here and down here on our side view. All right, so all looking okay. Create a few more because we've got some more spheres here. If we just have to bring up, looking at our different views. Right, that's all together. Control D, like so. Control D again, down and down. Okay, checking again. That looks very nice. All right, now I probably should have done this a little bit uh, earlier, but all right, because it's just a little bit harder to see here. But I can just click here and maybe drag this up. This is a smaller one so I'll just scale this one down a bit more. Alright and I shall rotate. Okay, probably find down here. Scale it again. All right. Now Control D. 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 Let's just scale that from the center here, and let's rotate it over. All right. And let's rotate that again. Okay, so there we go. We should have something looking like the Oriental Pearl Tower. Just put a little bit of a base on it. Here we go. Let's just hide our reference layer. And uh, there we have it. In about just under 10 minutes, we've created our Shanghai building like that. Lovely. 
there you go. So these are the tools that you'll be wanting, to, the uh, shortcuts you need to know for that. I uh, should have the folder there, I'll put it on my internet, uh, on my uh, website. And uh, there you go, and good luck. Any problems, just give me an email.